everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon to all of you. So I'm going to do you a quick update on what has changed from this morning. And mostly you can see how all these ensembles are starting to curve a little bit further to the west. A little bit more of a western push on where this might impact. Now we're starting to lose the sunlight. So you can see right here under convection where we have our center right about here. And we have a lot of lift, a lot of convection right here in this storm. And the center is starting to get underneath the storm. So if you ask me, I think by 11 o'clock tonight, sometime around then, we will have Tropical Storm. And it will be Tropical Storm Ian. Hermine has come off the one off the coast of Africa. And sad to say, Ian is actually the most retired I named storm in a whole hurricane season. So that's not good neither. So let's go through the updates. Right now, Jamaica, you're on a Tropical Storm Watch. And Cayman Islands, you are under a hurricane watch. It just came out a little while ago. Plus, they are expecting impacts early as possible is 8 a.m. on Sunday. So, as everybody knows, I don't update from Friday from sundown to sundown Saturday because that's Sabbath unless lives are at risk. And this system is still literally in open waters on its way to Jamaica. So, maybe Saturday evening I will start to live stream. Maybe very early in the morning for Sunday. But I will be there for you, Jamaica. Now, let's go over some of the differences that's been in the modeling so far. And so far, it's still showing according to the GFS that everything still shows it will be a tropical storm for Jamaica. Still showing potential hurricane as it's leaving you. It looks like it really won't be too big of a deal as far as a hurricane for Jamaica. Still showing Cayman Islands will still be a hurricane. GFS still takes it in between Cuba, in between Yucatan, and still makes it out to be a major hurricane going into the Gulf. Now, it did take a little bit western of a push, and it still shows that it goes there by Wednesday, 1 p.m., and stalls and sits there and by friday two days later moving forward on land now the canadian is agreeing it will not be a hurricane now as is leaving jamaica so all signs show it will just be a tropical storm conditions for you jamaica going through cayman islands becoming a hurricane still but if you notice it does two things one, it does do that stall just like GFS is seeing. Not that big of a stall, but it's doing a stall. Two, is as it's going through the Gulf of Mexico, very warm waters. If you look at it, it does not even intensify all the way through the Gulf of Mexico. And to me, that's unbelievable. So I'm not going to show the Canadian again until we get some better information, maybe. Looks like the Euro has everything on lock. If you ask me. So it still shows you have tropical storm conditions that will start picking up as you go later into Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Still becoming a hurricane for Cayman Islands, for Cuba. But now it's showing it's going by Florida Keys. Will be a hurricane showing some serious winds I will show you. And it's going a little bit more to the west. Now Euro is showing it will be a major hurricane come Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning for Florida, all the way down to a 950 millibar, and it stays 950 for six hours. So I don't know if that's going to intensify any further. That's what I have so far. Then after it goes over Florida, it goes by the Carolinas, it breaks down to a major hurricane again for the Carolinas. Now the only difference with this update as far as up the coast, as you can see, it don't take it too far up the coast. It stays a major hurricane and dissipates very quickly as it gets on land. A lot different than the model run that we've seen this morning. And that's all because of that ridge. So we have our strong ridge and we have it pulling it right up the east coast according to the Euro. And it does bring it all the way up, but it don't ride all the way to the northeast. Right around Thursday, it gets away from it and it starts going inland with the effects. GFS shows that it does miss that high ridge and that's why it gets stalled out and now it's not getting pulled by the high ridge and it stays in the southeast with all its effects. So there's still a lot of updates we got to do. We need to narrow down these impacts so people can prepare the best way they can. Plus you can see the wind gusts with the Euro and the wind gusts with the GFS taking it a lot weaker and it's taking it further into the Gulf. Euro is still steady that it's going to go right over Southern Florida into the southeast, still showing 30, maybe 40 miles per hour wind gusts for Jamaica. Jamaica, it looks like all the 50 in the update is going to be offshore, according to the Euro. Still intensifying as it passes by the Cayman Islands. As it gets towards Florida Keys, now you're going to start seeing the serious winds. We're looking at over 111 miles per hour wind gusts, 125, just a little west of you, so a little bit of shifting 
and it could get even worse. And now it's showing Naples, Florida, 129 miles per hour wind gusts. Cape Coral, 114, 125, 126. So just be warned that it is showing that the center is going to be over here by Sarasota. And that's why the impacts is right here a little further to the east because it is going to be east side loaded. Still going across, bringing everybody 70, even 80 miles per hour wind gusts, even getting into the 90s as this crosses over Florida. Then it goes by the Carolinas and it intensifies. All the heavy winds that we saw this morning, possibly for North Carolina, has stayed in the Atlantic in the update. I will keep you updated. You know I will. But so far, it will be a high 80s to 90s instead of 115. And you see how I don't go too far up the coast. GFS takes it a lot weaker, a lot to the west, where it's not going to be much but maybe tropical storm impacts, plus the rainfall amounts. You can see how it still shows that it will cover Cayman Islands, still get some for Jamaica, central to southern Florida, Bahamas, and southeast. And now it's affecting the Carolinas, not affecting Virginia and North Carolina as much as this morning. GFS takes a little further west where it gets a little more involved on the east coast of the U.S., so according to the Euro, remember these links are in the description for you to go zero into your area, zoom all the way in and see what your rainfall, see what your wind gust totals are. So I'm still showing that all of southern Jamaica, east and west, according to Euro, and heavy rainfall from five to seven inches for the Cayman Islands. GFS takes it further to the west, or maybe the western islands can get something, and really nothing for the Euro, maybe three inches that accumulates over the next 10 days. But as you go towards Florida, it is showing still Cape Coral all the way towards Orlando, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches of rainfall coming with this outcome. And it is in the next few days. And now it's showing heavier rainfall, a little bit higher of a curve turn towards South Carolina rather than curving by the Northeast. So a, a few changes, not many, but those are the updates. Well, let's not forget about the waves. So this link is in the description for you as well. And as you can see, Jamaica, the waves pretty much go by you and stays all in the ocean. Now, as you go towards the Cayman Islands, now your wave height is going to start ranking up where you have it anywhere from 15 to almost 20 foot waves as this system passes by you and strengthens up as it goes a little bit further towards the northern Cayman Islands and they get 20 foot waves for sure maybe get into the high 20s as this passes by then as it goes towards tuesday night into wednesday then it goes by florida keys florida keys gets in on some high waves all the way up from the high 20s to the low 20s very high waves with all these serious conditions y'all are going to be dealing with as it goes over florida at one point in time on wednesday you are going to have 15 foot waves on one side and 15 foot waves on the other side so far on this track as it passes over it will build up and be 30 foot waves probably high 20s to high teens right offshore but 30 foot waves going off and if it does become a major hurricane once again towards the carolinas y'all gonna start seeing some high waves as well anywhere from 20 foot waves off the coast and 37 foot waves just a little further out so this is definitely showing more and more impacts and euro is getting more and more agreeable that this will be a major hurricane weaken down over landfall over florida and become a major hurricane again in the atlantic so that's all i have for the update for this afternoon i just wanted to show you what was the latest information i didn't want to take up too much of your time hopefully y'all out there getting preparations hopefully you already have them so as you know i won't upload for tomorrow because it will be sabbath as the sun goes down today there's no lives at risk for tomorrow for the storm. It is literally in open waters, but I will be live streaming tomorrow afternoon or maybe all the way into early Sunday morning. It depends how close it starts getting towards Jamaica. That way Jamaica has coverage, Cayman Islands has coverage, and we'll be there for them. You're not alone. We do care about you. We love you all. God bless you all. Psalm 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath 
Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father, for keeping us safe. May you continue to keep everyone safe and their families. But we do love you. We do believe in you. And we know that you will keep us safe. All glory does go to God. Our Father in heaven. Yahweh. <laughs> Forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I will see y'all tomorrow afternoon.